time no seen and we hope you are ready for a brand new bachata tutorial. Today we are going to talk about the main and most important turns in bachata. If you understand well enough these turns, any figure that you are going to try to learn will make much more sense. So, what I'm going to teach you now will include, let's say, 99% of the turns that you will encounter in the bachata figures. The first one is the natural turn. Natural means that if I'm about to step with my left foot, I'm going to turn to the right, stepping forward. So if I would step backward, then it will be a reverse turn. So now we are talking about natural turns. So natural turn to the left, one, two, three, four, and to the right, five, six, seven, eight. You encounter this turn pretty much in any figures. Natural turn for the follower, natural turn for me, for the follower again, and so on. So this we can call it to be the most frequent type of turn that we encounter in bachata. The second type of turn is the natural mambo turn. Mambo means that after each step you have to close and tap. So I make a step, I close and tap. I make a step, I close and tap. Wherever I step, after each step I close and tap. So natural mambo turn would mean start the turn, close and tap, start the turn, close and tap. So, if we count it, we have one, two, three, four. If we do the same to the right, we have five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Where do we use it? Well, as you can see, the natural mambo turns are actually half turns. So I don't turn 360 degrees. So it is very useful to get me or my partner into shadow position. So, for instance, I can have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and now I'm going to start the natural mambo turn. 1, tap 2, 3, tap 4, and now we are in shadow position, 5, 6, 7, 8, and if I want to exit, I can do the same turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And this is one example on how you can use it in partner work. Now, let's try to combine the natural turn with the natural mambo turn. So, the lady is going to do normal natural turns. I am going to do mambo natural turns. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So as you can see, I only used natural mambo turns and she used natural turns. Now she can also be led into using mambo turns like this. So we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then continue with whatever we want to do in shadow position because shadow position is for the follower or for the leader. Okay, so the mambo turns is what is helping us to get in and out of this position. The Bachata Mastery full course is on track to be launched soon and it contains fully detailed classes ranging from beginners all the way up to advanced levels. Now let's get back to our video. The second, the third actually, turn is the reverse turn. So if I'm going to step facing forward, it will be called natural turn. If I am starting to turn with the feet pointing inside, so here first, it will be called reverse turn. And I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the reverse turn. Now let's see how we can use it in partner work. We can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I start reverse turn for myself. One, two, three, four. 
5, 6, 7, 8. Now let's combine it with the natural term for the follower. 1, 2, natural term, reverse term, natural term, again. Okay? The natural term, the reverse term, can also be read for the follower. So we can go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But this term is a little trickier to be led. So instead of just raising the hand, which is actually signaling the upcoming turn, but she does not know if I'm about to turn her like this, natural or reverse. So I add a preparation. So I do one, two, three, preparation, and then go into that term. So this is how we use the reverse term. We also have number four, the reverse mambo terms. So a reverse mambo term means I'm going into reverse by using a mambo term. One, tap two, three, tap four. Or the other way around, I go five, six, seven, eight. So reverse means going backwards, starting the turn backwards, and mambo means tap after each step. Okay? So I can use a reverse mambo turn like this. I can go from this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see a combination for this. Um, we could use a normal term for the follower and a reverse for me. So we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. So what do we use here? Well, natural term for the follower, one, two, three, four, reverse with mambo for me, reverse and mambo, and to exit, the follower has normal natural term, and I have natural mambo term. Why natural? Because I step forward, and mambo because I will tap to be able to match the steps. Okay? And number five. On number five, we have a pretty commonly used term, especially for the leaders, but it can also be used by the followers, which is called the natural delay term. Delay means I'm delaying the term. So it would look like this. I'm going one, two, three, four. And when I want to turn on five, six, seven, eight, I start it like a normal basic, five, six, and on seven, eight, I turn seven and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six looks like a basic, but on seven, eight, I decide to turn and then continue. Now, why do we use the delay turn? We use it because we want to turn almost in the same time with the follower. So let's say I go into a basic, one, two, three, four, and on five, six, seven, eight, I want to turn the follower and myself. So I turn the follower on five, six, and myself on seven, eight. And it goes like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Okay, so I'm actually delaying my turn because on the first half I'm turning the follower and then me. So one more time slowly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see one more example. One, two, three, four. Natural turn for the follower. Five, six, delayed for myself, and then I can continue with a headlock. Okay? So, delayed turns are very, very important. Let's see one more example where the follower uses the delayed turn. So, from here, I can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On one, two, I'm going into reverse turn. And on three, four, I also turn the follow. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. So one more time. I go reverse for me, delay for the partner. Okay, so I'm doing something on one, two, which means I cannot yet turn her. So I can turn, I have to turn her later. Later means she has to know how to execute correctly a delayed turn. And number six, which is 99% used by the leaders, is the Cuban spin. Why for the leaders? Because we usually don't wear heels, usually, okay? And the mambo, the Cuban spin, means that I'm going to turn on my right toe and the left heel. So it is a toe heel kind of turn. So to do the mambo turn, I put one step backwards on the toe and the other on the heel and I turn. Okay? Make sure you turn your whole body. No, don't go just with the foot. Go in the same time, foot and body. One example would be if I do this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cuban spin. One, two, three, four. Okay? Almost all of the turns, especially natural turns and Cuban spins, can be double spins. So natural turn, simple, would be like this, just one. And a double means two turns. And one example for the Cuban spin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. But the technique for the double Cuban spin is something a little more complicated and we will explain this if you are interested in that, in a special video. We hope you enjoyed this video and you find it useful. Make sure that you practice because it is very important that when you do a move, you actually understand what you are doing or what you are leading. We wish you happy dancing and happy new year if we are not going to uh, hear one another until the next year. But if you have any questions or if you need any more follow-up and information, don't hesitate to leave us a comment, a question or a like if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on to the next one.